Hey Roses, it's Sugar Rose Studios, and today I'm super excited because we're gonna be unboxing this tiny little barn from Cinny's Mini Art. So I think I saw this on someone's Instagram page and they also had it um, on their blog post. But I saw this and I was like, oh my gosh, this is absolutely perfect for my mini like. So if you guys didn't know, I sell super duper micro like on my shop and it comes with this adorable little barn. But this barn is basically wood cut. So it is like really detailed and tiny, something I could probably make on my own, but it would take a lot of time. And I just saw it online in this picture and it looked super cool. So I was like, I know this is really expensive, but I'm going to get it. And basically this is also made for like train scale sets. I think it's like nano scale. So there's like nano scale and then there's HO scale. So it kind of has to do with like model trains and that's what the scale is, but it's just gonna be so cute. I'm so excited. Okay, so let's open this. I'm so excited to open it. I've been waiting, so, oh, like not too long, but like it feels like forever since I ordered it. It's probably been like a week and a half or something or two weeks. Anyways, I've been thinking about it and I don't know exactly how I'm going to design it because it basically just comes with the wood. So I don't know how I wanna stain it or paint it or add like mini stuff inside. So very exciting. I kind of got on a little bit of an obsessive like search and I was just like looking at all these different like train scale sets that are super small. So let's see. Okay, so let's see. Dear fellow miniature enthusiast, ooh, thank you for your order. So it's 2015, that is super cool. It's super adorable. Oh my gosh, they gave me two little extras it looks like. So I got this little toolbox that is really cool. I can use this as like a grooming kit or something. It's really cool. And looks like I also got this adorable little bowl of like ramen or something. I think it's made of, oh, it's like squishy. Is it an eraser? It feels like almost an eraser material, but I don't think it is. It's really cool. This is just like a random little bowl of sushi, I guess, or it kind of looks like shrimp and green beans, but on noodles, I don't know. Okay. So, newspaper. So in addition to the barn, I also ordered this adorable little bird cage. I don't really know why, I just kind of wanted one that was super small because um, I think it's actually adorable. So I'm going to have to make a bird for inside of it, obviously. I'll probably make it out of clay, I guess. Although Schleich has like that little tiny blue bird that I have in one of my sets, so. So it has a little opening door that is so adorable and it has a little swing too. So the bird can like swing inside, which is so cute. Okay, so now for the really amazing thing is the barn. Aww. So it comes with a bunch of wood pieces. It literally smells like pine wood. It smells so good, <laughs> that is so weird. Um, yeah, so it comes with all the pieces, like you can see there, right here. So let's open it up and see what's in here. So the scale is one to 144. So, oh, let's not lose my mini schleich. This actually might be a little bit too big for my mini schleich, which I am impressed is possible because my mini schleich are so small. So this is like all of the wood cut. Oh, yeah. So, and then it comes with some of these directions. It really smells so good, I can't. <laughs> okay, so this is, I guess, like the reference picture. Super adorable. And they had other dollhouse kits too that were like really small. All right, so basically have all these steps and um yeah i'm going to probably put this together although i'm gonna read online what the other people did because they did some really cute stuff but that was kind of cool and it comes with like a few little wooden horses which i think is really adorable and i have like some 
different scale of really tiny horses, so we'll see which ones fit. Oh wow, that's really cool. So they just come out from this kind of engraving thing, I guess. There's a new part. I think it's just a blueprint. Okay, so I've assembled all of my materials, so I'm just going to be using some different acrylic paints, black, white, and I think I'm going to be using red to make just like a traditional colored barn. I think I'm also going to be using some super glue. I might be using wood glue, though I'm not sure yet. Um, I'm going to be using tweezers, some thin paint brushes, a Q-tip to apply the wood stain, and then I have all my pieces cut out here. I might also try using this marker. So. Let's get started. Alright guys, it's done. It's super duper cute. It's still kind of drying. The glue is still wet. But you can see there's two little stalls in here and it is absolutely adorable. This took way too long for me to make. Um, and then I have my mini Schleich. And it's a little bit too small actually for this barn, but I think it's really cute still. Um, yeah, so it's really adorable. It comes with these, like, really small wooden horses that are super cute, too. So, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching, and if you're interested in buying some minis like, I have them on my Etsy shop, and I'll leave the link for this barn in the description.